Okay, so um, welcome to um, the Research Assistance Services of the University of Alabama, the College of Education. And in this video, we are um, going to learn how to convert a survey data that is of this form, um, that is of this form, okay, to, uh, to uh, this form, okay, to this form. So we are converting from the character form to numeric form, okay. Actually, this um, character form that I'm showing you, we collected, um, we conducted a quick survey on with Google Forms, and um, the results that we obtained, um, they are really not encouraging. So we have to write some few lines of code to convert everything here into um, a very nice looking um, spreadsheet file with all the data sets in um, all the variables and um, data points in it okay so that is what we are going to learn today and we will be doing that in in R <coughs> okay so um, before we start um, there are a few things that I would like you to take note of so the first point I assume that you have a very basic um, working knowledge of how how R works okay but even if you don't um, it's okay I'll take my time to explain everything in a way that you can um, follow uh, without having any um, confusion okay so after that um, the next thing that we need to do is to actually set our working directory this is extremely important because if you fail to set your working directory and your data set is somewhere else and your R script is somewhere else um, you may not be able to load the data into um, the R studio okay so to set working directory um, first you need to go to your session this is the outline um, on how to do it first you need to click on the session at the top then go to set working directory and then choose your directory okay so i'm working in the folder called um, convert from strings to numeric okay so navigate to the folder that uh, you are working in and within that same folder make sure that you have your data set um, in there okay so once it is you open that section just click open and when you check the console um, you can see that um, the working directory has been printed here sometimes when you open your R studio and you are not very sure about your working directory you can just type get wd and uh, oh, get wd yeah this one and it's going to print your working directory for you okay yeah so now that we have set our working directory the next point we need to do is to load our data set okay load the data set so the um my spreadsheet is saved in a .csv file okay it's a comma limited file comma separated um for those sort of things okay so it's in csv format so um we just use this command read.csv into bracket um the the name of the data set dot csv and then we can just run it okay so um, we can actually either use this line of code like view into bracket data or you can just click on um, the data section in your environment console the top right corner okay we can just click on this um, to view the nature of the data set okay so this actually tells us that the data consists of 316 observations or respondents and to 17 questions okay or items right so we have gender education or item one all the way to item 15 okay okay so um now that we have reviewed the data we know how it looks like we can also examine the structure of our data set so the str over here tells you about the structure of your data set it gives you information as to whether your data set is um, is an integer is numeric it is um, it's a character or, or maybe factors it gives you all this sort of information so you can see in the console you may have to adjust this a little bit you can see in the console everything here has been printed nicely but you can see is in uh, is 
in um, string format or the character format we can't use this to do any analysis okay so our next point is that in a survey we try to um, assign for example for gender we assigned one to male and two to female okay for level of education we assigned one to elementary school two to high school three to college for bachelors and five for graduates okay and um for the items it was ranged on um, five points like it scale so from strongly disagree all the way to um strongly agree okay and um so this is how we are going to do it okay so for the first data set we want to assign for example wherever we see male we assigned one to it okay so what this line of code does is that it's going to extract all the variables uh, or, or all the data points that has male attached to it so for example if i run this you can see that it's going to loop over all this data set and print out only those that are male males males throughout and um, when I run the entire line, it's going to um, change all the male in the data set to one. So you can see it has changed all the males to one, right? And um, the second one here, when I run it, for example, it prints out all the female, okay? So this one too, when I run this line, it's going to change all the female in the gender column to two. Okay, so it changes everything. But make sure that the spelling here, for example, matches the spelling that you are using. If we should have used like a lowercase f, this wouldn't have worked. Okay, so you should be very careful about the spelling. So we do the same thing for this one. For example, for education, elementary school, um, you can see we have elementary school. There are only three people that have elementary school uh, education right so when we run this one too and we do for all of them you notice that it's going to change everything here to um one two three four and five okay yes so we are going to do the same thing for the items too so you click on it and um, when you check our data set you can see everything here has been changed from the character strings to um let's say numeric for now okay now that we have done all these things let's go forward and check the um, the structure of our data set again okay so when we check it you can see that we no longer have like male 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 female those sort of things but we have one and this ones and these numbers that we have here, they are still in character format. So, which means that we still have work to do. We need to convert all these characters to numeric, to numeric format. And this line of code, for example, will help us to do that, okay? So, what this simply means is that if I type data and then I subset gender, it means that I want to, um, convert the gender variable into a numeric okay so I type like as dot numeric okay and if we type as dot character and then we specify the specific column that we want to convert to um to a numeric format okay so when i run this line of code and i check the structure once again you can see it's been converted from from character strings to numeric okay so this makes um it more understandable and easy for us to do analysis on gender okay but because we have so many variables it's really not efficient to be doing this um one variable at a time so we are going to apply a function called l apply if you don't know much about l apply and you need more information you can type question mark l apply okay l apply okay so we can just type it and run it 
and this section the help function the help column gives you more information so for example when you look at this this is l apply so the l apply the first input is your data set the second input is your function okay so here we are going to put a data set here which is the whole data set we want to convert from numeric to uh, from um, character to numeric okay we put a data set here and then here we are going to put the function that we want to use remember we want to convert it to numeric if you want summary statistics you can just put summary like any function at all you can also define custom functions that you want to use mean mode standard division you can do all those things okay they are all functions okay so and we want the result to be in a data frame which means that we are going to convert for example if i run this line of code this is not a data frame this is in a list format so if i put data dot frame it means that it's going to convert all the results here into a data frame which should look just like what we have here okay and um check the orientation of the um, numbers very well you can see because they are in um, character format they are left aligned the moment you convert them to numeric they are going to be right aligned for example look at gender it is now right aligned initially it was left aligned okay so when i run this line for example you can see we have like a data frame we have gender a uh, education item one all the way to item 12 okay so when i run this for example and then i check the structure of the data set you can see everything is now in numeric format and this is the focus and this is what we are hoping to get okay so this is um this is really good and let's do just do a few um exploration let's just print out the summary statistics for these variables and items okay so when we click on summary statistics for example gender um, there are three missing responses education no missing response so you can this summary statistics gives you more information about the minimum the median the mean the maximum and also the number of missing responses as well okay yeah i can see and you can also see there are missing responses there are ways um that we can deal with all these missing responses but that is not the focus of today's um tutorial so i'm not going to go into that um uh, in today's um session okay so now that we have explored the data we can now um export it um in a csv file for future use okay so when i run this line okay so what this line does is that write the csv if you really don't know what it does you can put question mark and then you run it okay so write the table it break it gives you write the table and write the table it has write the csv it has all this information you need okay so your first input is your data set the second input um has to do with the file that you want and where you want to save it okay because our working directory is set to this section to this place um, it means that when we type new survey data.csv is going to save it in the same folder okay so we run this line of code okay permission denied because i already have it open so when we run this code um, let's go check it up so you can see this is the data set that has been saved okay good so this is how the data look like and you can see all the males uh, female all the responses have now been um, nicely converted into a numeric format and we can do any sort of analysis that we want to do with it okay so this is basically how you can record survey data whether it is just a few variables or more variables um, it's really not any difficult thing so this is how to do it and i hope that this tutorial has been of help to you and um, i look forward to seeing you in our next video thank you for watching